Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics and More with Cutthroat Chuck. It's uh, 6725 West Central Avenue. That's Toledo, Ohio. 436-174-19-531-6097. Instagram, JC's Comics and More. And then www.jccomicsandmore.com. This is the final box. Box four of this week. So get through this box quickly so I can finish moving all my comics around so I can get out of here it's snowing outside people are panicking because we're supposed to get like two or three inches you know northwest Ohio used to be able to handle the snow now it's like uh, it's like this is Louisiana but let's get this stuff cracked open I see, and I almost had forgotten since this new preview is coming out this week. That always get our Marvel previews. And I thought, man, this could be another full box. It's going to take me another 20 minutes to go through this box. No, we just got one side. The other side is all just Marvel previews. First stuff shipping in May. So, got the Marvel previews there. Of course, she's got Ronan's hammer. Of course, she does. Take a look and see at this. See what kind of product Marvel is putting out. Let's see, there's a new Taskmaster miniseries. He's taking on Hyperon. Man, he's all veiny. His legs are all veiny. Veiny like Mr. 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 Attack Mats. Ooh, okay. That Empire, that's Marvel's big uh, event that they're doing for for summer and everything, which I think it's unneeded. Uh, and Thor must have his arm back and hammer. Hard to say when this is, but we're giving those away tomorrow. So let's see what else we have. Uh, I see, I see Scream. Curse of Carnage, issue four. We had the Kyle Holtz Curse of Carnage cover, uh, the one in 25 cover in the previous video. And here is the regular Scream Curse of Carnage number four cover. Right. Get this box counted out quickly. Let's see some Dow H for Hero. I see some Batgirls. I see some Black Panthers. Here's the Terry Dotson cover B Batgirl cover. I see we've got Sex Criminals issue number 27. That's for a customer. Batman Beyond Batwoman to the Rescue. I guess it would be Batwoman Beyond Rescue. That's the cover A's. We had the cover B's in the previous video, if you saw that. Quantum and Woody, number two, cover A. Not sure how needed that is, but Quantum and Woody, number two. And here we've got a very bad cover on the Amazing Spider-Man Daily Bugle. If you look at just, this is a very bad cover. Um... This is a very bad cover. Hopefully the inside's much better. Now Mark Bagley did the artwork on the first issue. I see he's not doing the artwork on the second issue, so we'll see how this goes. I didn't order very many of them. The first issue did not did not do well at all. We got cover B on Red Sonia and Vampirella Meet Betty and Veronica. Issue number, this is the, the hack cover. This is issue number, this is issue number, this is issue number. It doesn't tell you, it doesn't tell you what issue number it is on the front. Hey, Dynamite, Archie, do you think that's a problem? Not having the issue number on your comic? Not having the issue number? This is number nine. 
too much trouble to put a nine on here somewhere? I guess so. Here we've got Olympia, issue four. Down to buying one copy of this now. People are not digging it. And so we've got Giant Size X-Men with Gene Gray and Emma Frost. That is the variant. We did not get many of those in. I see we've got the variant addition to X Force Works or X or Force Works 2020 number one. We've got those. Not expecting that to be a big seller either. Hidden Society number one. This is uh, from Dark Horse. So this would be cover A. We've got that right there. Vagrant Queen. Number two from Vault. That's for one of my main regulars. As is this issue of Folklands, issue four from Boom Studios. Uh, this is Sex Criminals, the naughty, naughty cover. And I think I know who this for, so that's not even going to be going out on the stands. Black Panther number 21. That's the regular cover right there. Make sure a copy that gets set aside for my uh, my Marvel uh, customer who gets everything Marvel. Make sure he's taken care of because he takes care of me. Jim Henson's Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance, issue number 6 of 12. Again, I'll make sure this is set aside for the one person I know who's going to want it. And so we have Ant-Man number 2. This is just a miniseries. I'm pretty... Damn sure. You can't tell with Marvel because they don't they don't tell you on the comics. Now they'll tell you in the previews, their preview book. So let's see here. Oh, there's gonna be a new juggernaut miniseries because everybody demanded it. Let's see here. Ant-Man, where's Ant-Man at? So it looks like Kitty Pride is still dead. Okay, Ant Man. It's going to be in one of these here because it's selling a lot poorer. New Marvel Zombies. Marvel Zombies. Spider Man's supposed to take them on. I don't know about that. Werewolf by Night, who looks not nothing like Werewolf by Night. The Marvel's a new ongoing series. Why? Okay. See, there's all sorts of... There's Marvel. There's Marvel's X. Marvel. And they're really pushing, uh, pushing a lot of this stuff. Okay. Spider-Man Noir. Spider-Woman. Amazing Spider-Man, Amazing Mary Jane, Gwen Stacy, that's just a five-issue series. And poor Gwen, again, man, all throughout this book she wears the same outfit. Man, poor Gwen. Man, I know her father's a cop and everything, but she couldn't couldn't afford to buy other outfits. And some girl, somebody get that girl some outfits. You got the... Uh, the facsimile edition of Amazing Spider-Man 101. What a great book that was. I bought that thing when it came out. Um, Black Cat number 12. J. Scott Campbell cover. Uh, Black Cat and Iron Man. Let's see here. Savage Avengers. We got Ghost Rider. Werewolf by Night. They're doing a facsimile edition of number 32. The first appearance of Moon Knight. Got Alex Ross covers on Immortal Hulk. Alex Ross covers on Captain America. Let's see. Nebula, miniseries. Ant-Man, yep, five of five. So it's just a miniseries. Marvel's afraid to tell you it's a miniseries because I think they think it's not going to sell very well. But if people think it's a regular ongoing series, it's possible they might not buy it either because they don't want a regular, another ongoing series. Here we have Brian Polito's Coffin Comics, Lady Death, Scorched Earth, one of two. So let's hear it for Scorched Lady Death, Mr. Brian Polito. Let's 
Now, here's something. I don't know why I got this. Maybe because I may have ordered it just because of the Silver Surfer. But I don't remember ordering this book. I really don't. And speaking of comics, it makes me really question this. Because here, we've got three copies of Justice League Dark number 20. I ordered more than three copies. Guess what? They're probably hidden someplace because this is diamond. Um, and again, you know, you've got people there. You've got the blind. Or you've got people that, you know, can't, uh, can't get off their cousin for five minutes. Am I more from Power Rangers number 48? Those are copies set aside for... So my pull customers, here's the Mark Brooks cover on X-Men and Fantastic Four number two. That first issue was damn good. It was outstanding. All right, Peter Porker, the spectacular Spider-Man number three. He's got his spider buggy. You got Bullwinkle there. You got Manic Monkey. You got Dr. Strange Toad. Man, there's a party going on there. All right, I see Dark Ark. Let's see. I don't see any more of those Justice League Darks, though. Dark Ark after the flood, issue three from Aftershock. That's for a customer. Cover A of Red Sonja, Vampirella, Meat, Betty, and Veronica. Damn. Look at that there. Back to the future. Bring blue pills. I'll make sure the shop steward gets his copy. He's going to be a happy camper. And speaking of happy campers, oh my gosh, look at this. Gross Fairy Tales cover C of issue 36. It's like Mara and Polaris had a baby. And there you go. And we do have a extra copy of this available for sale, too. And here we go. We had the, I guess it would have been cover A on this. This is cover B of Finger Guns. And that, that of course, Finger Guns, this uh, is like a Stranko cover. But Finger Guns refers to uh, the boy band that uh, South Park, Cartman, what they call themselves, Finger Guns. Got a Finger Gun it. I think that's what it was. Uh, we've got Witchfinder number four of five from uh, from Dark Horse, written by Mike McNola. Unfortunately, Mike did not do the cover on that issue. We do have more copies of that Marvel previews there. Set those aside with some of the previews that people set aside for my customers. All right, I see cult classic. Um, we also do have Fantastic Four Grim Noir. Number one, a copy of that. Dial H for Hero, number 12, Last Call. It's the last issue of this series. It was supposed to be an ongoing series, but canceled at issue 12. And here is cover C of Red Sonja, Vampirella, Meet Betty and Veronica. Again, a smoking cover there. And speaking of smoking issues, this is the facility edition of... Flash 123, the Flash of Two Worlds. In a reintroduced uh, uh, Jay Garrett. Again, it's, re it's in its entirety. It's with that nice paper. It's got a letter from James Brown. Man, oh man, look at this. This is like going down, going down old, uh, going down memory lane there. You can't afford a copy for for twenty thousand dollars. Here, this is three ninety nine. This is made for you. Anyone that's got a great sense of history should pick this up this week. That's, this is history right there. We got kids number two from a blaze. This is cover three, cover B of kids. And here's a dollar comic that reprints Amethyst, Princess of Gem World number one by. I think Ernie Cohen, the buck, because the new issue came out this week, the new ongoing series. Oh, look, here is the rest of my Justice League darks, exactly where they're supposed to be, right with the other ones. That's where they all are. 
Of course, three issues get put someplace else because, you know, because. All right. A few more titles here. This is from Vault Comics. Creature feature number five. Cult Classic. That's for a customer. Here we have cover A of On Sacred. It's a sexy little book here. Make people go blind. And some more copies of the Marvel previews. And you think that these are all Marvel previews, right? No, the very last, the very bottom thing. You think these would be on the bottom, right? That would be the smart thing, right? That would smart people would do. Now you've got the one in uh, ten chassis number five uh, incentive cover. But that's it. That's it for uh, for these comics, for this box. And if you do like these videos, if you enjoy these videos that I do, if you enjoy these videos I do. Please subscribe. We're over a thousand subscribers. I want to thank everybody who has helped push us over that 1,000 mark. Subscribe, like the video, be sure to hit the bell for notifications because I think I uploaded seven videos today. And be sure to uh, share, share, share. Other than that, have a very good new comics Wednesday. And one of my earlier videos, I said, you guys have fun on February 30th. There's probably people who thought I was serious. There's no February 30th. There's 29 days in February this month since this is a leap year. But there's never been a February 30th. Other than that, have a great New Comics Wednesday.